All right, so the time has come to install this rear PTO. Um, so what I've got here in front of us is uh, a rear PTO setup, and I have the 2000 RPM gearbox on the left-hand side of your screen uh, on the gas, or the left-hand side of the gas tank. And then I have the MCS pulley on the right-hand side of the gas tank. Um, the MCS pulley is in a different video I, where I replaced the bearings. I can't, I don't know what order they all come out in, but we'll get it all figured out eventually. So what I'm going to do tonight is, uh, I think I'm just going to install the 2000 RPM gearbox. Um, now the only problem is, is you have to take the rock shaft off uh, to install the gearbox or the MCS mount. Um, in either case, you can leave... Um, you can leave them connected with the rear rock shaft on. It's not that that big a deal, uh, but just something to uh, to note about um, you know when you, when you're doing everything together. So uh, the rear 2000 RPM PTO, the most important part. Actually, there's two really important parts. Uh, this is the electromagnetic clutch, uh, very similar to the front clutch. Uh, it's gapped to 0.18 or 0 0.018 uh, inches. Same gap, uh, then what we're going to do, uh, this end right here connects to uh, the output on the, the, trans, the, the transaxle pump, uh, and then at the same time, this end right here connects onto the spline side of the gearbox, or the spline side of the MCS pulley. So, let me get set up here and um, get everything uh, get all the tools I need and then we can go from there and we'll try to figure out how to put this in. Now I have never installed one of these before, in fact this is the first 2000 RPM um, gear case I've ever owned, first rear pulley I've ever owned. Um, the MCS I will eventually use uh, for uh, to pick up leaves and stuff. <clears throat> um, I'll use that probably uh, next spring or next fall, basically a year from now. Uh, we'll have to do some electrical work, run some wires, etc. Uh, because that's got to be run up to the dash uh, up here. Uh, so we'll have to take apart some of the dash, whatnot. But that should be relatively easy to do. Um, really wish the machine was a little bit cleaner to do this. But uh, given the fact the time of year um, and we're having some really cold weather. We don't haven't had much snow yet, but we're having some really cold weather for this time of year. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to wash anything uh, until spring. So... That is that. Let me get set up and we'll proceed forward. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna see how this works. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is here's my rear, my rear PTO electromagnetic magnetic clutch and that mounts onto this output shaft on the transaxle. Um, I think this is the mount that goes to the frame um, and problem is I'm not which sure which way it goes. Um, I think it'd probably go this way because it'd pull out. So um, there is a there's this opening right here on the clutch that I'm guessing probably sits over here, something like that. So. This goes in here, like so. There's the wires. And then this black piece, I'm guessing, goes through this hole over here. If somebody sees that I've done something completely wrong, let me know. Like I said, I've never hooked one of these up before. So your guess is as good as mine. Or probably better. Oops. Gotta change gloves. It's cold in the shop. I need some dexterity, but at the same time I want to try to keep my hands covered. Where to put my... Dropping everything. 
this over here, like so, like so. Put my head on here. And I suppose this has to rotate around until it can hook in. Now I can tighten up the bolt. Hopefully you can see this as I drop wrenches everywhere. Something like that. Maybe. It's a definite possibility of a maybe, I guess. Um, and actually, I want to loosen that back up. That way I've got play in the system. If I need it. remove this or I have to pull the rock shaft back. Um, I think the first thing I want to do um, I think I want to take these um, arms off. So I need a 15-16 socket. At least I hope it's a 15-16 socket. The reason I'm doing this is so I don't have all that weight hanging on these rear draft arms. That would not be fun. Okay, so there's that. Now I don't want to take this all the way off, or I'm going to try not to. Um, I do remember that some of these bolts are an absolute pain to get to. Hopefully everybody can see that. Of course you can't. Sorry about that. Of course at the same time I really don't want to redo everything I just did. So some parts of that you won't be able to see. Uh, 
All right. So there's that. Now I can pull this back. I don't want to pull it back very far because I don't want to drop it out. Now what I can do, grab the gear case, drop the gear case down in here, and hopefully I have enough room. I do. So now the gear case is sitting on there. So now I have to bolt the gear case to bolt the gear case to the transaxle. These are the three bolts that came with it. <clears throat> I have no earthly idea what size they are, but I would guess that they hook in. Oops. Oops. Dropping stuff everywhere. One goes right here. Ooh, this thing weighs a lot. And then the other two. Well, that makes no sense. So I actually need oops. So here's the problem I have. The bolts that I have are not long enough. That's weird. Just simply not long enough. So let me go see if I can find some bolts that would help with this problem. So. I'll be back. Okay, slight change of plans. Um, I have all the wrong length bolts and I can't find the correct length. And now that I have all this thing apart, um, and it's, I don't know, Saturday night, at like midnight, something like that. Um, obviously, I'm not going to run to the store, but I got to get it put back together. Uh, so we're actually going to install the MCS pulley for right now. Um, not a big deal. Uh, I'd probably use this one first anyway. Um, I was just trying to get the, the um, gearbox out of the way, but that's okay. Well, this will work perfectly fine. Um, so anyway, let me get this uh, get the gear there, this MCS pulley in there, because I do have shorter bolts. So I'm going to slide this back in there like that. So I have plenty of room for the MCS right now. Um, I did uh, chase the threads um, with the tap. So I, just, I chased those just to get all the, the dirt and debris out of there. Um, probably would have been fine without it, but you know, better be safe than sorry. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to get these installed. And I think you have to lift the whole assembly up. Yep. Okay, and then I got the bottom one in, and then do the next one. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop there and I'm going to go get a socket because I don't have the right one since I changed my plan here. Um, go get a socket and install these, and then we'll tighten this back up and we should be good to go so let me go get a socket 